guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. You go away. And don't touch anything. Of course not. Okay, so what are my commands? Is it, oh, it, it no. It's control. There we go. Push and pull. That's what I need to do. So, based on what I can see, I think the first one's pull. So, pull on the handle? Which direction does it go if I pull on it? Because I had to guess which one was pull and which one was push. Okay, that is what I want. So, is L pull? No, let's look at it. Damn it. What's pull? It's probably like U. Is it U? No? I don't know what pull is. I'm just going to guess. All right. Then it is push, which is S. Uh, and then pull again. I'm just gonna, I don't know what, what that is. And push. Hmm. There's nothing in here but this note. Well, then take it. And I got the credit note. Hooray! Memorizing because I wrote it down. There's no way I was going to try to do that offhand. <laughs> oh, it looks so stupid. All right, let's get out of here. And we just get to leave this time. He did not bother us. Hooray. Credit note acquired. I think we are ready to move on yet again. So let us head over here and get out of town. We are ready to go talk to the previously owned vessel salesman. Not the used car salesman, he only has vessels. That is, that is all he's got. And hopefully I, I can... I can give him this and we'll just get the ship and that'll be it. That will be it. That's... That, that's how you do it. That's how you get credit for the way. That, by the way, that's how you get all credit. That's how our financial system works. You just have to memorize the password, and then you get as much money as you want. Let's head to the U Ship Emporium then, and try to talk to Stan with his crazy ass jacket with the plaid that Hi. doesn't change. Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. Yeah. You know why they come back? Because they need a ship. Just look at all these ships. And they're the only I've dealer. Something for everyone. Come, take a look around. You use your hands way too much. Tell me about the cheap one again. So, what else can I show you? Uh, cheap one. Actually, let's see all the other ships. We're here. We might as well try. Let me see the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. Oh, don't I? Just the boat for you. Walk this way. What do we got? Something good? Now this. It's got holes in it. This is a ship fit for a king. I can see a I hole right here. Fifteen staterooms, a fireplace in every one. Interesting. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one out. Why would? Why would We're you? We're talking what? rotating ballroom. That sounds We're nice. Heated crow's nest. It does get cold We're up there. We're talking two hundred feet of ocean-going decadence, and all for one low price. How Speaking much? Speaking of price, what kind of price range were you thinking of? I have this credit. Yeah, take the credit. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? I'd love to. I really would. I usually do. But, but not for the amount this baby's going to run you. Ow. Maybe one of the other ships would be more in your price range. Oh. So, what else can I show you? Well, tell me about some of the other ones. Uh, the built to last one. Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. Uh -huh. I've got just the boat for you. Of course you Walk do. This way. I, I doubt he'll ever say we, he doesn't have something good for us. Is that a Viking see, ship? You're a no frills kind of guy. I just know that. I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. Uh huh. I mean, just look at the way you dress. 
Rugged, like this baby. Rugged. She comes from a land far to the north, where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough. And hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? No, I'm not a Viking. You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Ah. Uh. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. Let's talk about money. Your money. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, how about the credit? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? I'd love to. Oh, we have to I go. Really would. Is it the same I one? Usually do, it is the same but one. But not for the amount this baby's going to run you. Of course not. Maybe one of the other ships would be more in your price range. Mm -hmm. So, what else can I show you? Okay, it, we're, I see where this is going. Uh, what about the blue it's one? The blue one by your office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. Oh. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? All right, fair enough. Let's go for the cheap one. Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it. I knew it. How much for the as-is as one? Get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it? Hmm? Of course. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Uh, yeah, here's the credit that I got. Is this enough for the cheap one? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Hey. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Never had credit before. Divorce? Chronic gambling mishaps? That happens. I mean, who am I to judge, right? You probably got some if the shady stuff going trust on. trust you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? I totally didn't uh, steal it. Right. Yeah. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. I do want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Now my head hurts. Let's talk extras first. Um, I remember this. You have to talk him down. I have to haggle. I am not a good haggler, to be honest with you. But I have to. Let's try it. Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Uh, yeah, I can live without that. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. In the Caribbean? But wait, there's more. Of course. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? What? That sounds stupid. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Of course. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? What? No, I don't, I don't, no, no. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. It will. Barely. Uh -huh. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? Sail covers. You've got to be kidding me. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. We kind of have to of do this course, until he repeats you himself. Me. Is an ugly world. Oh, you'll but go to wait, hell for that. There's more. Seventh layer. Did I tell you about the taco meter? I don't even know what that is, so I'm just gonna say no. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Don't you bring Did Marley I tell you into about this? The elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks. What? An elevator? What is it running on? There's no electricity. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? A little. But wait, there's more. Of course. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Why would I want simulated wood? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, I have a crew for more. that. Did I tell you about the porthole defogger? All right, he has repeated himself. So that's enough about the extras. Enough about extras already. 
Okay, where were we? What do you think it's worth? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. That is How too much. That, that is too much. So, forget it. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Um, I think I can come back. I think I still come back and it still counts. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? So, did that... Oh, yeah. Did that lower it? I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week. So, you got me over a barrel. Oh, of course. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. It's a nice shirt. Okay, so, is it lower than 7,300? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 6,300 pieces of eight. Still How does that sound to you? That's still too high, so I don't need it. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. Right, yeah, I know I'm this is... sure we can work something out. I know this is a little repetitive, but I actually have to do it this way. Well, maybe you're right. This is the only way I know how to do it. Of course it. I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? Um, yeah, what do you, what is it worth this time? Less than 6,300? I need it to be less than, I think, uh, 5,000. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy uh. away today for just 5,800 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? It's still too much, Stan. 5,000, we both know you'll go that low. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away don't mad. Don't go away mad. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. Damn it, Stan. Fine. Well, maybe you're right. Okay. Of course I am. Now, where were we? You were going oh, to sell yeah. it to me for 5,000. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? Okay. D does he go lower than that? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 5,700 pieces of eight. How okay. does that sound to you? Okay, so I think at this point I, I, I can make an offer. I think I could have at 5,800 too, though. All right, let's try it. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Oh, you're a dick. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh, yeah. Do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Sure, take it. Whatever. I'm done with it. Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. Oh, shut up. I, mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. You say everything it's to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? You might as well be reading from a script, Stan. What a Sucker. See you at the dock <laughs> and don't forget your crew. All three of them. All three of them. So, I did, a I did a little out of order again. I probably should have gotten the ship first and then the crew, but hey, I like getting the crew first. I think the crew is more interesting than this guy, to be honest with you. I, I think he's funny, but he gets real annoying real fast, I feel. Alright, back to the dock, which is in the village. So, our crew should be waiting for us. We have our ship. We are ready to go. We need to get our girlfriend back. It is far past time for us to do that. that is, hey, what? it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. 
Right, of but course. I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I yeah. mean, just look at her. Your elbows Sleek, in my face. Aerodynamic. A buoyant barnacle covered beauty. Barnacle covered. I think we're having a real moment here. Oh, shut up. I've never understood why I they do this. My mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? <laughs> then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. Right. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Whoops. I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. What? My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Here enough for a warranty. Hey! Long time no see! How you doing? Uh, Otis, that's your name. Yeah, I thought you left. Uh, yeah, have you come to be on my crew? Have you come to be on my crew? Hey, I could never pass up a chance to make some easy money. Uh, money? What? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Uh, yeah. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You never did know when to use that one. I did What's use it, that right? What's waterlogged wreck doing out there? That, that's our How ship. How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What? What's bags? going on here? Where's our ship? Uh, that is our ship. Where's our crew? This is the crew. This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. Uh. But we have made it to part two, the journey. Part one is now complete. We are ready to move on off the island onto our ship. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Let's go, Sea Monkey. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. Oh, yeah, they're wonderful. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. Oh. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. Ow. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. Yeah, you do the what work. Is it we were suckered into doing again? Everything. I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She what? can clearly take care of herself. Not this time. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Great ship. Well, yeah. We got a ship. Yeah, we do. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my pan. You could, actually. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. Wait. I could use a rest. No. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. I, I don't like this at all. Damn it. Order. Order. I'm doomed. Yes, you are. And that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. I've been Bowler Scuba. I've been joined as always by Guybrush, Captain, well, Captain Guybrush 3 point. There's supposed to be a captain in there somewhere now. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.